I inspire my team, they're fired up. Dude, I am the best at what I do. Bullshit! Because you don't care, you're full shit. You're running your mouth. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm going to wake up with the mindset Dude, and, that And by the way, you want to crush everybody? Outcare your competition. Outcare them. I didn't say be an order taker. I didn't say give this shit away for free. Charge more. You know the greatest thing I ever did? Charge more. Greatest thing I ever did is quit undervaluing what I do for a living. You guys are all valuable in here. If you're really doing something at a high level in here, you know what? People will pay you more for it. But they're not going to give you more money if you're the same person. You got to change. And by the way, listen to me. Can you take the pressure out of the deal? Yes or no? Can you be so good at what you do when you speak, the client doesn't even think about anything negative and they can't go in their head because literally the way that you make them feel, it's like you've just taken all that away. Okay? Can you do that? Can you put them in a good state where they don't even realize and think and, and, and get stressed out? You see, when people get, you see, oh man, oh boss, this guy's getting stressed out. Well, that's, that's your fault, bud. It ain't the numbers, it ain't the deal. You don't think these people didn't think this was gonna cost more? <laughs> you know what I think? I think they're, they're upset because they showed up and there was an amateur they didn't know how to handle money. That's what I think. I think if I walked into a company and I had $100,000 to invest and I walked up to a guy that didn't look like I should be investing money with, I'd probably walk out too. Self-image again. I see people that won't shave their face. I see people that don't look nice. I see people that got sleepy shit in their eyes. I see people that don't get haircuts. I see people that got stained up shirts. I, I see this shit everywhere. And these people go in there running our companies. No ways. My whole team's wearing Elliott shirts. We wear them everywhere we go, okay? You guys, if you have a company, your entire team should be repping your company everywhere they go, in the gym, everywhere. Why? Because they believe in the mission. And by the way, listen, this isn't your job anymore. This is their life. Like, dude, like if you want to have a beautiful life, wherever you work will give you that beautiful life, right? So wouldn't you wear their shirt everywhere you went? You know why people don't? It's a job. Once you become the greatest leader of all times, everybody will wear your company's gear everywhere because it's no longer a name. Elliot's a movement. It's not a name. It's a movement. It's what we believe in. It's what we stand for. You guys can play your own game in your head and decide what you want. I'm just telling you, listen to me. This is why companies thrive. This is why some people kill it. And this is why some people don't. A brand is more valuable than money. You know, there's people that I know, they like have 20 million, 50 million, and they got private jets. Nobody gives a shit, okay? They don't care. You know why? They don't want to be like you. You know what they want? They want to be with the people that have a brand. Climate has changed. It's changed. Where's everybody at on their phone? Would everybody agree? What's the number one way that people consume technology, information, or anything? It, it's any social media platform that exists, but they get it through their phone. Am I right? It's, it's so crazy once you guys realize how weak the world is, how easy it is to win. So I just want to say this. If you're in this room right now, right, and you're like, man, I want to build a badass business, or you're like, man, I just want to sell a ton of shit. Well, dude, I, I went from selling 40 cars a month to 80 cars a month. Hey, guys, we'll get back to the video in a sec. If you're watching this video because you want to level up in life and business, then one thing you got to do is optimize your sleep. One in three people worldwide reported not getting enough good sleep every night. A big part of the why? Mouth breathing. Luckily for you, our sponsor, Hostage Tape, is your best friend when it comes to sleeping. If you're like me, you've probably also struggled with everything from insomnia, dry mouth, restlessness, snoring, headaches, sore throat, and even waking up with mental fog and grogginess because of mouth breathing by sleeping and didn't even know it. Poor sleep affects essentially every area of your health, wealth, and happiness. With hostage tape, you simply peel off a piece of breathable fabric, place it over your mouth before bed, and voila, several hours later, you wake up feeling refreshed and energized. If you're ready to feel focused, clear-minded, and energized, go visit hostagetape.com backslash Elliot and get yours today. Thanks to Hostage Tape for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the show. Back in 2010, because I got on Craigslist and Facebook, you know what's funny? Is everybody told me Craigslist didn't work. Yeah, I sold 70, 80 cars a month off it, okay? Everybody told me it didn't work. You know what's funny is when I was selling 70 to 80 cars a month, I had people next to me going, dude, he's selling that many cars on Craigslist, I'm gonna do Craigslist. And they would do it and they'd be like, a week later, Craigslist's stupid. I'm sitting here selling 80. What, what does that mean? It means people never get good at anything. People never get good at anything. It's like dieting. If I dieted for one week and I didn't see abs, I'd be like, screw dieting, stupid. It's like going to the gym for three months and being like, dude, I don't see a six pack, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? This is bullshit, I got lied to. Dude, listen to me. If it was easy, everyone would have it. But I wanna tell you about the brand. So the brand has allowed me to get in more rooms than ever, than ever. Then I can, I can walk in any room. 
Dude, I started my business three years ago. That ain't very long ago, is it? Dude, three years? That ain't shit. You can literally get in any room you want if you got a brand. Now, here's what I want to tell you. If you're a salesman, if you're a salesman and you're in this room, should everybody know in your backyard, I don't know if you sell a product local, like, like, like yours may be across the world, right? Yeah. Or maybe a guy does pools. He don't sell in another state. He sells within a 50 mile radius around where he's at because they can only go so much distance with pools. Does that make sense? So you decide, do you want to dominate the world or do you want to dominate your backyard? You decide, you, well, you can't, but like the pool guy doesn't want to dominate the world. He wants to put pools in everybody's, you know, in a 30 mile radius around where he works. He wants to put their pools in. Does that make sense? Okay, because the concrete trucks ain't gonna drive out eight hours. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they need to have a parameter. So look, four things. Everybody needs to know who you are, what you do, how great you are at what you do and where you're at. Call to action, how do I get a hold of you? Dude, I got traps all over social media. Anytime somebody reaches out to me, they know exactly how to get a hold of me. You know why? Shit pops up. It's like, do you want a message? Do you want to text? Anybody watch a YouTube video on me at all? What do I say on every video? Damn right. I bet you guys even got the number memorized. You know why? It's on every video. 918-210-0254. If you need me, I got your back for life. Shoot me a text. 500 leads a day. Every day, every platform, all day long. Guys, I just want to say this to you, that if some of you in here are really wanting to get more clients, you want to get more customers, well, dude, can I ask you a question? Do they know how great you are? Are you out there every day? Are you delivering information? Are you delivering value? You know what I'm saying? If you're not, well, someone else is. And they're taking your customers. If you need salespeople and you need a team or you need a new manager or a general manager or you need a new guy to, to run with, dude, I'm just telling you, where are they at? They're all over, man. Will these people pack up and move across the United States to come work for you right now? You bet your ass they will. Every one of my team moved across the world to come work for me. I don't, and by the way, listen, I'm, ju I'm just trying to give you guys some information. So the next time you're looking for somebody, understand if you don't have a brand, you know what you're going to get? Leftovers. And you're going to have to get lucky too. Because when you hire, like, hey man, are you going to work hard? Hey, will you show up with a good attitude? Like everybody's going to say yes. Okay, and by the way, listen to me. Can I, can I tell you this right now? This is what the world's good at. Let's say he's a general manager and he works at a car dealership. I'm just giving you an example. And he quits today. Do you think more than likely they were going to fire his ass anyway since that's why he quit? Yeah. He felt like they were going to probably fire him in the next 90 days, so he quit. So what he does, he quits. And he wasn't doing a good enough job there, so he knew he was going to get hit. Because you ever seen somebody getting paid a shit ton of money for leave? No. Why would you leave when you're killing it? That's stupid. Right? People leave when they're not killing it. But then they go to Brett Morgan and they say, watch they know exactly, people are the best interviewers in the world, am I right? They actually tell him they're gonna do all the shit they weren't doing at the last place. Listen boss, hey, what I do, man, I get involved in every deal, man. I'm telling you, dude, listen, I don't even sit down. I take the chairs out of the office, that's how much I care about standing up, okay? Literally, man, I'm like a hawk. Well, man, if I ain't on the phone, my guys get a phone call, man, I'm jumping on that phone. I mean, just, I'm the fastest guy in the room, I'm like Superman. Dude, my team, they got a customer, I'm, I'm out there with them all day long. We're doing a lot of parties, we're closing deals, we're calling people from the lot. Dude, literally, social media, I'm making sure that everything's tight. I'm making sure I buy my car, I'm a really good car buyer, I buy my stuff right, I know every bank, know every guideline, know what I do, I inspire my team, they're fired up. Dude, I am the best at what I do. Bullshit! Bullshit! He's the best interviewer in the world. You know what I want everybody to do right now? If you work for a company, you should never think about leaving it until you're the very fucking best. Now listen to me, okay? A lot of you, think about this. There's an old saying me and my wife say, if you treat something like it's the beginning, there'll never be an end. Remember when they hired you the first day? Remember the first time a manager got promoted in this room? Remember you were like, oh my God, babe. Dude, I'm, I do, I'm gonna kill it. See these eight car hands? These eight car hands, I'm gonna make them 15 car hands. Bullshit. 90 days go by, they still suck. You know why? Because you don't care, you're full of shit. You're running your mouth. So there's an old saying, if you treat something like it's the beginning, there'll never be an end. You know what that means? That means it's day one. If I go work for you and I tell you I'm gonna give you all this, listen, the day that, that quit, the guy quits doing that, you tell him, hey man, go back to day one. Get used to telling your manager, go back to day one on me. Remember when you said you were gonna do all this? Yeah, and listen, if they give you lip, I need you to understand this. They do not have the growth mindset anymore. Now, I need you to ask yourself a question before you attack. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, am I growing daily? Because if I'm not growing daily, and this man's not growing daily, I'm just as bad as him.
Okay? Dude, you can't give someone something you don't acquire and have. If my sales team works for me, they can't be great if I'm not great. Can I go tell my team get fired up if I'm not fired up? Nope. That's why it don't work. That's why in order for you guys to build a freaking empire, and by the way, the build is the bitch. Everybody understand this. You want to build something no one else in the world has ever had? You know how many people want your job? You know how many people want the money you want? You know how many people want the marriage you want? You know how many people that want your kids' attention? Dude, you're fighting for all this. In order to get all this, how focused are we going to have to be? Dude, this world is asleep. Dude, it's time to get obsessed today. Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.